We wish you a Merry Christmas, we wish you a Merry Christmas, we wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Good tidings we bring to you and your King. We wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. We wish you a Merry Christmas, we wish you a Merry Christmas, we wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. In the beginning, when God created man and woman, man and woman choose to sin against God. And they choose to sin against one another. Separation took place. The image of God is broken. Therefore, we look at the world today and we see image of God is broken. There is hate out there. There is violence out there. People want to harm one another. It is because image of God is broken. It is because man and woman choose to separate themselves from God. Yet, Bible gives us the solution for this separation. Genesis chapter 3 verse 15 tells us, I will put enmity between you and the woman and between your offspring and her offspring. He shall bruise your head and you shall bruise his heel. Solution to this broken world is not the lights on the Oxford Street. Solution to this broken world is not the love to one another. Solution to is this broken world is not the Christmas tree or it is not the present you give to one another once a year. It's not even Christmas turkey solution to this problem. Solution to the problem is Lord Jesus Christ, the one, the word of God, who came and dwelt among us, the one who came and nailed himself on the cross for the sake of mankind, the one who identified is the King of Kings and Lord of Lords. Solution to the world, this broken world comes through Lord Jesus Christ. He doesn't only offer us peace, he offers joy and eternal life to those who believe in him. Let's all together sing to the joy to the world. <laughs> joy to the world. government will be upon his shoulder and his name shall be called Wonderful, Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. Of the increase of his government and his kingdom there will be no end. 
upon the throne of David and over his kingdom to order it and establish it from that time forward, even forever. For the zeal of the Lord of hosts will perform this. When Jesus came to the region of Caesarea Philippi, he asked his disciples, Who do people say the Son of Man is? They replied, Some say John the Baptist, others say Elijah, and still others, Jeremiah, or one of the prophets. But who, but what about you? he asked. Who do you say I am? Simon Peter answered, You are the Messiah the Son of the Living God. 
Say it again, say it again, face bullets, say it again. One again, say it again, face bullets. Say it again, say it again. Say it again. Say it again. Say it again. To God be the glory. Amen. All honor, all honor and Hallelujah. adoration belongs to him. It is wonderful that we can sing his praises in our great nation. To God be the glory. Amen. When Jesus came to the region of Caesarea Philippi, he asked his disciples, who do people say the Son of Man is? They replied, some say John the Baptist, others say Elijah, and still others, Jeremiah, or one of the prophets. But what about you? He asked, who do you say I am? <laughs> Simon Peter answered, you are the Messiah, Amen. the Son of the living <laughs> God. Amen. The great joy that every Christian has is that he knows or she knows that Jesus Christ, that Jesus, the name Jesus means God the Savior, God our Savior. And that's why his name was called Jesus, because he would save his people from their sins. Now when Jesus was born in Bethlehem of Judea, Bethlehem means house of bread. Out of the house of bread came the bread of life. And there were wise men in the east had, who had been shown a star. And so when they came to Jerusalem, they asked Herod and said, Where is he that is born the king of the Jews? For we have seen his star in the east and are come to worship him. Now the wise men came to worship Jesus Christ at his birth. They didn't just worship him when he was a grown-up because he was born the king of the Jews. Every king or queen has to become the king or queen. But Jesus Christ was born king of the Jews. And the exact time of his birth was prophesied by Daniel the prophet. The exact place of his birth was prophesied by Micah, as our brother read, he would be the child that was born, the son that was given, that would save his people from their sins. Evidently, from the reading we have just heard, that many people were reincarnation, but they believed in reincarnation because they thought Jesus Christ was a reincarnation of John the Baptist. But he refuted that when Simon Peter confessed and said you are the Christ the son of the living God you are the Messiah and he worshipped him all the disciples worshipped him people came from the far east to worship him the shepherds came when they heard that the Lamb of God had been born who would take away the sin of the world and those of us who have believed on the Lord Jesus Christ have had revealed to us that Jesus is the Messiah, that he is the Messiah of Israel, that he's the son of the living God. And that's what he came into the world to do, to save sinners. Every sinner who has fled to Jesus Christ for refuge, they know where they're going in eternity because they, they have been saved from their sin. And that is why we rejoice and sing Let's sing to the Lord. Yeah. 
from Revelation chapter 19 verses 11 to 16 and I saw heaven opened up and behold a white horse and he that sat upon him was called faithful and true and in righteousness he does judge and make war his eyes were like a flame of fire and on his head were many crowns and he had a name written that no man knew but himself and he was clothed with a vesture dipped in blood and his name is called the Word of God. Amen. And his armies, which were in heaven, followed him upon a white horse, clothed in fine linen, white and clean. And out of a mouth goeth a sharp sword, that with it he shall smite the nations, and he shall rule them with a rod of iron. And he treadeth the winepress of the fiercest and wrath of Almighty God. And he hath on his vesture and on his thigh a name written, King of kings and Lord of lords. Amen. This is our Lord Jesus. Amen. Amen. And why our Bible tells us it is the Lord of lords, King of kings who reigns. Yet same Bible tells us out of God, out of love, God left his position. He became a servant to rescue us from our sins. Let's remember Lord Jesus Christ didn't turn up as a king, he didn't turn up as a warrior, he didn't turn up as a rapist, but he turned up as a baby, very vulnerable baby. We worship a baby, we worship a God who loved us so much that he was willing to become a become very baby. Now let's sing all little town of Bethlehem. This old of Bethlehem, how still we see the light. Above thy deep and dreamless sleep, the silent stars go by. Yet still the dark street shineth, the everlasting light. Child of Bethlehem, this 
According to the law of Moses, were accomplished. They brought him to Jerusalem to present him to the Lord, as it is written in the law of the Lord. Every mouth that opens the womb shall be called holy to the Lord, and to offer a sacrifice according to that which is said in the law of the Lord a pair of turtle doves or two young pigeons. And behold, there was a man in Jerusalem whose name is Simeon, and the same man was just and devout, waiting for the consolation of Israel, and the Holy Ghost was upon him. And it was revealed upon him by the Holy Ghost that he should not see death before he had seen the Lord's Christ. And he came by the Spirit into the temple, and when the parents brought in the child Jesus, to do for him after the custom of the law. Then took him, him up into his arms and blessed God and said, Lord, now let us though thou servant depart in peace <coughs> according to the, thy word. For mine eyes have seen thou salvation, Amen. for which thou have prepared before the face of all people. Amen. I like to lighten the Gentiles and the glory of the people Israel. And Joseph and his mother marveled at those things that were spoken of him. And Simeon blessed them, and he said unto Mary, his mother, Behold, this child is set for the fall and rising again of many in Israel, and for the sign which shall be spoken against. Yea, a sword shall pierce through thy soul also that the thought of many hearts may be revealed. You know, we've been singing a lot about Jesus Christ as a baby, but he didn't remain a baby. Some people make the mistake of thinking of a baby, you know, or thinking of somebody on a cross. Jesus Christ is telling us and, and warning us that although he has provided a way by which you can come to God, is God is commanding everybody in the whole world to come to Him, Amen. to be reconciled to Him, because He loves them, He loves us, He cares for us. So we have no excuse before God. We have no excuse but to accept what Jesus Christ has provided for us. Glory be to God in the highest. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to the newborn King, peace on earth and mercy mild, God and sinners reconciled. Joyful all ye nations rise, join the triumphs of the skies. With the ancient hosts proclaim, Christ is all in Bethlehem. Of the herald angels sing, glory to the new. Christ by highest heaven's Lord, Christ the everlasting. 
here. We remember those who have been persecuted around the world because of their faith. We will pray for them. And we are here to give you the good news. Jesus Christ is alive. Amen. He is living. Amen. We worship the living God. Amen. What's his name? Jesus. What's his name? Jesus. I can't hear you. Jesus. Good tidings we bring to you and your king. We 